Hello everyone, welcome back to another daily tutorial video, and today we're going to be showing you how to upload worlds onto modern servers. Take it away. Yeah, thank you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload worlds from your computer or one that you downloaded online to your modern server. So, let me show you how the world uploading system works. So first of all, let's go to the web browser. Here I have Google Chrome, and you should be on this page, right? This is just a page where you have your list of servers. So if you have a modern server, this is how you go on that server. Then you want to select a server that you want to edit. So I have this one right here. And what you think you want to do normally is go to files and upload your world. Just the only issue of this is that you can't do that. For example, if we have this world thing right here, we can't interact with it. We can then rename, move, or delete files, but we can't do anything else with it. Right? We can also delete that world, which is also automatically generated when you create a server and start it for the first time. The only thing is that you can't upload it. Right? You can upload a new file, but that's not a file, so it's a, there was just no way of actually making it. Well, so how do you download or even upload your world then? Well, so if you can't do any of that here, well, let me show you because it's actually quite easier than you think, depending on how you see it. So to begin, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a world on my computer. That I want to upload to Modvent. So if you want to have one of these worlds, let me just go on how you probably do it. Right? You, want, you want to make your world here and upload it on your server. And what you'll normally do is just open up Minecraft. Obviously, it has to be the same version of your Minecraft server. It doesn't have to be the same one, it will probably convert, but just to limit breaking and some glitches using similar versions, so 1.20.1, 1.22, 1.23, all that will work on that, for example. So, what you'll be doing here is just making a server, or just a world there, and then you just go in your world, make a new world, the name doesn't really matter because we'll be changing it anyways later, and just create a new world there. This will create you a world onto your computer. This is still not on modern, obviously. So there you go, here is a world, let me just change some blocks to show you once up, the server is online, so here it is, this is a private world. So what do we do, well, let's say we have this and we want to upload it on Modern. The way you do it is that you need to go on the worlds folder and the way you do this is either by selecting it, well, and doing edit and open backups, open world folder, doesn't matter. And then clicking on save. Right? The main thing you want to do is just go here. Right? .minecraft saves. This is where your worlds will be saved. And all you have to do is copy it. Make sure you select it and paste it somewhere. Right? It might give you a log file error, just do skip. That really doesn't matter. And this is what you should have. Right? So what you should normally have is a world that you downloaded online or from your computer and that you want to upload to Modern. First of all, what you need to know is here you have world and this gives you a little world icon, but in reality, it's just a folder icon. So you know that the world has to be called world, uh, just without any capitalization. Right? It's quite easy, right? you just change this to world, right? there you go. So we just rename it to world. So this is what you want, right? So the next step is the different step. It's a bit the idea of like going into the server's backend to upload that world. And in the same time, you can also download the world from modern, which was also a feature you can't do in the base console. So what do we do now? Well, what we do is go back to our web browser and we want to go to the options tab right here then we want to go to the info tab 
right here. And this is where we have something called SFTP, also called FTP. It depends how you want to call it. This, this is more for secure FTP. This is how you're going to be able to access your world and upload your worlds. So all we have to do is download an app which lets you connect to the SFTP server of Modvent. And the way you do this is if you go over this, it tells you this button only works with compatible SFTP clients, example WinSCP. And what we will be doing is downloading WinSCP to access our worlds. So to do so, simply go to a new tab and search up WinSCP. Up WinSCP. WinSCP, as you can see, is something that lets you access files from a server. So, all we need to do, this link will be also in the description if you need it, is go on the website and you should be on this page. Now, what you need to know of this is as you're accessing files online, that you can have a security risk. So what we'll be doing is actually downloading the portable version. So this is never really on your computer for any long periods of time. This app is official, it's secured, and it's also a signed file, but it's always important with these type of things that we have the best practices when it comes to accessing files remotely. All we have to do is go to download there. So if you want to make it more secure, we just go to other downloads right here. So once you're on this page, you scroll down and you find other downloads right here. You might have some ads. And if you go down again, you will have something called portable executables. And this is what you want. So all we have to do is just click download and we should be downloading it here soon. There you go. And once we have it, here it is, it's a zip, so we will have to also unzip it. We can go to our file manager. So for Windows, it's called File Explorer. Here we already have the downloads thing, but if you don't, you just go here. If you're here, let's go to your downloads folder. And here we have our application. So all what we have to do is right click and then do extract all. So we right click, extract all, and extract. There you go. Now we have to go to the extracted folder just by simply clicking it. And we will have these four files here. The one that you're interested in is the exe version. So we just double click that. And it's just going to open up this page directly. Right? You're not downloading anything to your computer because it's just already downloaded. That's how the portable is. You can put this on USB if you want. So here we have a file, file protocol, SFTP. This does match is what Modern calls it. And here we just need to fill up the information, which is, well, right here. So with this information, what you want to do is copy the server address with this button right here. So once we click that, all we have to do is go to our file, there you go. And here we just paste. Huh? And once we click off, it's going to automatically put the port number, which is this. Now we want to copy the username. And we also want to paste it right here. And as you saw, it automatically disconnected it and put it to the port number. And for the password, we just copy the password and paste it right here as well. And here we are done. All we want to do is log in right here. So we will have this. It's like more of a security warning. What we have to do is just click the arrow here. You can also just do accept, but if you want more security, all we have to do is connect once. And when you want to close the with SCP, you will know that you will be disconnected. So it's finding for host and then it should be connecting automatically to the modern servers. There you go.
So now we have this. This here is just this. But it's different because we have more features now. As you see, if we right click this, we have a downloads button, which if we right click this, we do not have a downloads button. So once we're here, what we want to do is change this folder. And how do we change this folder? Well, it's quite simple. We just right click and delete. Well, we want to delete this folder because we'll be replacing it. You just do OK and it's going to start deleting the folder. Now, if you want to download it, you can have just done it download, but as we are just uh, uploading a file, a folder to the server, we will be deleting it. We have a tutorial how to download it, which is a bit of the same information. All we have to do here, go to our vaults folder. And the way we do this is just by going to our file manager and our download folder. Because remember, we have this thing right here. What we can do is simply click here on the empty spot and scroll this down. Right? We want to scroll down until we have an empty spot here and we want to find our worlds. Right? So we know that this here is the world folder that we want to put here. So all we have to do is once you have this set up, you have deleted the file here, you just click that and drag it. You simply drag it here. So it's going to start uploading to the modern server this time. Okay, now we have a world folder, which is the same as here. So we have successfully uploaded our world folder to modern servers. Now, all we have to do is go to the start right here and start up the server. And while this server starts, we just, we can go to the console. It's gonna start doing the little thing, there you go. All done. All we have to do is go and copy this. So you want to copy your server. You might already have it in your server list and simply go to multiplayer right here. Now I already have some servers here, but it should be fine. And here we have a server. And all we have to do is click play. And there you go. If I press tab, we can see this is an online world as we have a little player that shows up here. And of course we have our pillar that we done right here. So that's that will be there. Um, as we are still connected to the modern uh, FTP right here, all we need to do is just close there uh, and terminate session, say yes. And after this, all you have to do is go to files and we can just remove on there. And there you go. Uh, so that's it. Uh, so we don't have the thing on the computer anymore. It's in, our, it's in our bin, but you can clear the bin if you want. But that's the idea there. We don't have the thing on the computer. We have successfully uploaded our world. And there you go. So yeah, in this video, I showed you how to upload custom worlds to your modern server. And if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you for the next one. Bye.